Good morning, 2nd July 2024, 10.15 a.m. When God speaks, his words are recorded. He spoke the words of the Lord, the pure words that came out from the mouth of the Almighty God are recorded in a book, the King James Bible. If you don't believe this, that is your choice. From my point of view, a wrong one, but every one of us is responsible for the for what they believe or believe not. The word dispensation is attacked, dispensationalism is attacked from every direction. There is a reason. There are some people that really make a very bad work by putting the, the body of Christ in the wrong dispensation. And so they call themselves dispensationalists. But, for example, the Acts 2, the Acts 2 dispensationalists or the Acts 28. But the reality is the word dispensation is present four times in the King James Bible. And because I don't want you to believe me but the word, I searched the word dispensation in the King James Bible. That's the English version, okay? 1 Corinthians 9, 17. For if I do this willingly, if I do this thing willingly, I have reward, says Paul. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. So there is a dispensation of the gospel. The word dispensation is very simple. It means God is dispensing something. Let's not go super theologians, you know. You know what a dispenser is. You know those machines that you put a, a dollar to have a soft drink or whatever. It's a dispenser. Well, God is not a, a machine that you put a dollar, but is a dispenser and is dispensing something. In this case, in this dispensation of grace, is dispensing the gospel. Now, there are many gospels in the King James Bible. One is written to you and about you in this, the dispensation of grace of God, the gospel of the cross, the gospel of Christ, the gospel of the grace of God. Now, the expression gospel of Christ is found 11 times exclusively in the letters of Paul, Romans to Philemon. That should help you to understand that it's a unique gospel given by the risen glorified Christ to our apostle, Paul, who is the apostle, preacher, teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. The man who the Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Christ, has put in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. The man who wrote 13 letters, Romans to Philemon, practically wrote more than any other, any other author of the Bible, and he says dispensation four times. 1 Corinthians 9 17. Then Ephesians 1 10. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ. So this is a future dispensation. It's called the dispensation, God is going to dispense at that time, of the fullness of times, not time, times. He might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Then in Ephesians 3, 2, the Holy Spirit is asking us through the Apostle Paul, if you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which has given me to you word. By a simple observation, it looks like the majority of people that proclaim themselves to be Christians, believers, so this and that, the majority of their denominations, they don't believe in dispensation. And they, they don't heard, they haven't heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given to Paul towards us. Why? Because they're preaching the gospel of the kingdom, 
and they put in the people under a program which is faith and works. And these people are called to believe the gospel of the kingdom like God is building the kingdom on earth, which is not. Since Acts 9, with the calling and commissioning of Paul, is dispensing grace and this building the new creature, the body of Christ. At that point, you understand if you believe the gospel that only Paul preaches, the gospel of the cross, for the salvation of your soul. Because also Peter preaches the cross, but as a murder indictment, it's different. If you believe that, you know that you are in the dispensation of the grace of God. And so you know that God is building the new creature, which is the body of Christ. Colossians 1.25 Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given me to, for you to fulfill the word of God. So this is so important. The word of God, the King James Bible, from Genesis to Revelation is fulfilled and is complete with the writings of Paul. After Paul, there is no more new revelation. So, sorry for all those guys that they say, I receive a fresh word from the Lord, a new revelation, God is new and doing a new thing, blah, blah, blah. They might be ignorant, and they should fix this by studying the word of truth, rather than divide it, as happened to me. So, I'm not accusing anybody, and I'm not holier than thou. In my 40 years of religion plus, I didn't know about this. You understand? And so I thought that we would have to preach the gospel of the kingdom. I thought I was in a, a spiritual Israel or, you know, the bride of Christ. And the gospel of belief was the gospel of the kingdom. And of course, I didn't know anything about the dispensation of grace of God. And I didn't know that the word of God was fulfilled with the, with the letters, with the writings of the Apostle Paul. You can fix this by studying the word of truth rightly divided. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show the self approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, there you go. The word dispensation, one, two, three, four times, only in the letters of Paul. Thank you very much, Lord.